the happening. Come on, come on. Stop. What's going on, my happening people? Well, it looks like Lil Wayne just celebrated his 40th birthday and he had family and friends surrounding him, and somebody made it possible where Keith Sweat was there. And so as y'all can see, Lil Wayne was loving it. And he had friends and family giving him messages. And when the ones who couldn't be there, they gave messages. Yeah. Young boy even sent one by. What up, nigga? It's your son. It's your and so as you can see, it seems like Lil Wayne really enjoyed his birthday. Happy birthday, Lil Wayne. Okay, moving right along, it looks like Rihanna's baby daddy, ASAP Rocky, did not give the fans what they wanted when he went on for his Rolling Loud set. According to TMZ and fans, he was supposed to have went on at 8.55, but instead he went on at 9.45 and only had about 15 minutes to do the show. And instead of him just getting right into his set and doing the show, he started rampling around and talking and wasting time and when he was in the middle of the second song or probably going into the third song they cut his mic and the music because they had an ordinance that they had agreed to that the music has to be cut off by 10 o'clock and in the video clip i'll play for you you'll see that he was visibly upset but i know the fans were more upset because they say he got there late and that he could have gave them a show but when he even was doing the show he didn't give it all They've seen him do better sex than what he put up. We love y'all, New York. We wanted to give you a great time. New York City, thank you so much. I ain't even gonna hold you. This shit was lit. They cut a nigga mic short, but it's all good. Thank you for the love, y'all. I appreciate that shit, you heard? On ASAP. Everybody get home safe. I love you all. Everybody get home safe. Spread the love. Remember that. Peace. And so after all of that, he put up a lengthy apology yes. excuse. It says, I am so hurt right now. Last night was supposed to be a turning point in my live shows from an old to new. I would take full responsibility for the circumstances of what led to last night's show being everything it was and everything it wasn't. I also want to acknowledge that even though I prepared the best show for my fans detail for detail over the course of months, I unfortunately was not able to bring my vision to fruitation and I'm hurt about that. And I want to apologize to all of my fans and continued supporters and thank y'all for showing up for me regardless. ASAP forever. Yeah, I see he's taking full responsibility for him showing up so late and then not even being able to do the full set. But you knew when they had a time limit what you thought it was going to go on to the break of dawn? No, they told you to be by, there by a certain time and that's what you should have been there. I, I know they say blacks like to be fashionably late, but that was ridiculous because they asked you to be there by 8.55 p.m. And you didn't get there till a good 45 minutes later, which means you could have been there your whole entire set and been gone and do whatever you wanted to do. Unless it was an emergency situation. Some of y'all wonder why y'all fan base is not that big. Because y'all just don't take it that serious no more. And now you got to promise to make it up to them next time. When, how you know it's going to be a ne or next time very soon. And then you had the nerve to jump into the pit and could barely get out for your life. Come on, come on, get him up. Get him up. Well, your baby mama, Rihanna, she's going to be doing... The Super Bowl, hopefully, they're in the works and talking about her doing the Super Bowl. So, I know she's going to be on time. Well, yeah, this is all I have for you, my happening people. Subscribe to the channel for more updates and give me a thumbs up. Share. Tell me what's the happenings below and then tell me what's the happenings in your neck of the wood.